Should you charge for your proposals? What about traveling for your clients before they actually become clients? Should you charge them for that? Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another segment of Business Time where I share some of the knowledge that I've accumulated after freelancing as a designer for 15 years. And today I wanna to answer a question I got in the email from Mark and he basically asked me, should I charge for my proposal because I'm spending a lot of time putting down those proposals. If they're not gonna become my clients, I've wasted a lot of energy on that and sometimes I have to travel for them. Should I charge them for that? And so I wanna address those points. My question, is, my answer, Mark, for you is, no, do not charge them for your proposals and I wanna understand, I wanna explain why. So basically, the way I see this, a proposal is just summing up what you have already discussed and agree with your client. So you mentioned in the email that you're meeting your client and then you're going to think about this and coming up with a number. I think this is an approach that for a lot of clients might be um, give them a shock price, if especially if you're going with high prices, which you probably should. Um, so basically what I think is that usually when you are in discussion with the clients and you're already hearing you know, the, pro the, the scope of the project and you're already in discussing discussion, you shouldn't give them the final price, but you should already tell them this is going to cost something around X and Y. Are you okay with that? If they're not okay with that, if it's totally outside the ballpark, you should probably discuss this already in the meeting. You don't wanna just send them a number and then it's completely not what they've expected. So I think that the proposal should be just summing up and, and I use a very, I have a few videos about proposals and I, I used to create a proposal tool. So I really believe in simple proposals, which are basically one page proposals, which are summing up what you have talked about in the, you know, in the meeting. If the project is huge and it requires a follow up contract to make sure all the details are correct. Okay. But the first proposal should just state the high level, you know, details of what you have planned. So we're going to do a website. It's going to include this and this section. The timeline is this and this, and the price is this and this, something along those lines. And it should not take you more than one, two hours max to, to put this together. And I don't think that you should um, charge your clients for that. I also don't think that you should charge your clients for traveling to them because I believe this is part of the business management, business admin side of your, you know, of your business. This is not what I would call a billable hour. This is business development, you know, and you, you want to create the sense that, you know, you're not just looking to make a dollar for every second that you invest with them. You create, you're, you're working to build a relationship. Now, yes, when you are thinking about your business and you understand what's your hourly rate or what's the um, amount of money that you need to make in a month, you need to allocate certain percentage or, or number of hours that you know that you will be dedicating to biz dev, business development, and that include meeting clients and that includes, you know, writing down the proposal. So if you know that, you know, let's, let's make a very simple calculation. You know that you have to spend 10 hours per week doing those types of tasks, which are unbillables. And uh, so if you have to, if you're working 40 hours and then you're working 10 hours on unbillable hours, if you have to make, I don't know, 10 K per month, then you understand how much you need to make your billable hour so that you'll make sure that you'll earn what you need to earn to hit your goals. But I would definitely not charge them upfront. Obviously, they're paying for it, right? They're, but it's not a direct payment. It's kind of like it's, it's, it's being uh, calculated into the price of the project or your hourly rate or whatever it is. That's how I think about this. We'd love to hear how you guys are working in the comments below. Let me know and I'll see you on the next video.